Hello everyone. Today we are going to analyze a property cantilever beam when its property support sinks by delta. We are going to use consistent deformation method. Now let us find the degree of static indeterminacy. In this beam, the number of unknown reactions and movements are 3. The available equilibrium equations are 2. The degree of static indeterminacy is 3 minus 2. It will be 1. Since the support B sinks, we have to release RB. You can see that I have released RB. Previously, it was a property cantilever beam. But now, it is a cantilever beam. We know the formula to find RB. P is equal to delta minus delta L upon delta. In the beam, there is no load. So, delta L becomes 0. We know that the support B sinks by delta. The sinking occurs downwards. So, it should be taken as minus delta. So, delta will be minus delta. In this way for RB, we will get minus delta upon delta. Now, let us find delta. To find delta, we have to apply unit load in the direction of RB. You can see that I have applied unit load in the direction of RB. Delta is the deflection due to the unit load. We know that if in the cantilever beam, a load W is acting in the free end, the formula to find the deflection in the free end is W L cube upon 3 E I. Here W is 1, so it will be L cube upon 3 E I. Here the deflection occurs upwards, so delta should be taken as positive. In this formula, let us apply the value of delta. In this way for RB, we will get minus 3 EI delta upon L cube. We have got a negative value, that means our assumption is incorrect. We have assumed that RB would be acting upwards, but actually it is acting downwards. Now let us find RA. We know that in this beam there is no load, so the values of RB and RA will be same. Only the difference is that RB is acting downwards, so RA should be acting upwards. Here you can see the shear force diagram. Now let us take movement about B and find MA. RA is acting in the clockwise direction, so that it will be positive. And the distance is L. Let us assume that MA is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be negative. We can eliminate this L and here it will be square. In this way, for MA, we will get 3i delta upon L square. We have got a positive value, that means our assumption is correct. MA is acting in the anticlockwise direction. Here you can see the bending moment diagram. Now we are going to end this session. Thank you for watching this video.